Hi, this is Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. I want to speak to the Louisville Courier Journal, that uh, esteemed uh, journalistic organization uh, that did not have the resources, they said, to send anyone two and a half hours away to Greenup County to cover the investment being made. $1.3 billion, mind you, third biggest deal in Kentucky history, largest ever in the history of Appalachia in this country, certainly in our state in that region. When Brady Industries announced $1.3 billion being invested, the Courier-Journal chose not to go and cover that announcement. And their argument was that they didn't have the resources to do it. Interestingly, however, for the last weeks and months, they have been traveling all over the country and all over the state trying to find information about me because apparently they've just discovered that I'm now the governor and they want to do a profile. They want to get to know me. They want others to get to know me. I'm going to publicly ask in this video to those of you at the Courier Journal, your editorial board, your owners at Gannett, the folks that are in another state, not our own, they're in Virginia, and obviously really don't care about what happens in our state. For those of you that are harassing my family members all around the country, stop calling them. They're not interested in speaking with you. They're really not. You're trying to find little tidbits of information to help people get to know me. But it's interesting that while you approach people saying that you want to do a profile, it's interesting the nature of the questions. Asking my cousins if there's anything they want to talk about in terms of any dissension in the ranks, any family members fighting with each other or not getting along, any tension over different interactions that the families have had. This is the kind of nonsense that makes you the tabloid you are and makes people not take you seriously. It's why your reputation sadly precedes you. I'm just saying literally, stop calling people in my family. They don't want to talk to you. It's a waste of your time. Even more so, it's a waste of their time. It's interesting too that because weeks ago I made note of the fact that apparently this profile you want to do, you were willing to talk to anybody at everywhere. I, I noticed you must have found my old high school and college yearbooks because you're calling anybody that was in a picture with me every, ever uh, in, in the years when I was a young person, contacting people from my high school and college days. They also don't seem to have much interest in speaking with you. They don't trust you, frankly. But I found it interesting that during the course of all this time, the only person you hadn't bothered to contact was me. I thought you want to do a profile, but you never seemed interested in speaking to me. This month, finally, here in December, you finally decided maybe you want to talk to me. So you were very kind to send me a letter. You sent it to my communications department. And then again, wanting just to get to know me, I find it interesting that the things you want to talk about are uh, my recent tax returns, my uh, military service record, my DD-214, my college transcripts, uh, the uh, financial disclosure and personal ethics forms that I've dis uh, filed in the past when running for office. This is exactly the kind of nonsense that causes me not to take you seriously. You're not really interested in doing a profile about me. People who want to understand what I'm about and what we're doing, they follow our Facebook page. They look at the things that we put out in press releases. They follow us on Twitter and on Instagram. They don't frankly read your newspaper. The people who do are people like you that are looking for scurrilous little things and trying to find dirt. It's amazing to me though that the very same paper that didn't have the resources to go to Eastern Kentucky and to cover a major announcement in our state has the resources to spend thousands of dollars flying multiple people all over the country. You showed up in the town that I grew up in. It's 1,100 and something miles away from here. It's hours from the nearest airport. You sent at least two people there. You sent people to other little towns where I've done business to walk in and try to snoop. I found out that you were in my hometown because the daughter of a 90-year-old couple that you were bothering called the Capitol to ask us why this paper from Kentucky was bothering her parents. Really? Come on. If you truly want to know what my administration is doing, what I'm doing, who I am, follow along with the information we're putting out there. But in the meantime, stop bothering my family and do your job. I'd be grateful. We are Kentucky.